Welcome to the Buccaneers Observer. This is Ralph Phillips. Today we're going to continue looking at the things I found interesting in the Week 6 game against the Packers. Uh, this is the last part in the series. A three-part series is Part 3. Now, these are not all the plays in the games, only the ones where I found something interesting worth pointing out. These plays are in chronological order. Man, I can't get that word down, can I? Uh, these are not highlight plays or X's and O's, just Jimmy's and Joe's. Uh, if you like this kind of analysis and discussion about the Buccaneers, check out our podcast with myself and Molly Bay. Uh, there's a little bit to get to. Finish this up, so let's do it. 8.35 in the third quarter. This is third and 18. Valdez Scanling ends up catching this ball for 18 yards, and they get the first down. He basically runs out here. Uh, Aaron Rodgers scrambles out to the left, and... He ends up throwing this ball to Scanling for the uh, first down. Now, this is a breakdown on Devin White's part. This was his area to cover, and he gets kind of faked out by Aaron Rodgers coming out. We'll take a look at this. I see right there he's got good coverage on Scanling. Everything is nice and covered until Aaron Rodgers comes out. And then you see Devin White goes in that direction, takes a couple of steps, gets out of position. And you see he leaves Scaling wide open, or open enough anyhow for Aaron Rodgers to throw the ball to him. Two oh nine in the third quarter. Number 74, uh, kind of forgot what he was supposed to do here. He lets Golston get right past him, and he just clobbers Aaron Rodgers. First play of the fourth quarter. A lot going on here. Ronald Jones runs up the middle for 14 yards. It's a... Uh, Pretty good hole for him to start off with, and then he gets a lot of this yardage himself. Let me see. First, we want to look at uh, 65. He gets a good pancake on 90, I think it is. We'll run this through a little bit slow so you can see it. Boom. Right there. He gets that. Opens up a nice big hole for Ronald Jones. But as you can see, here's Donovan Smith. He comes out to block 51 and totally whiffs. Now Donovan Smith goes and doesn't touch anybody else for the rest of the play. Watch right here. Here's Tristan Wirfs. Now we talked about him last week, how he twisted his ankle and stayed in the game. He gets taken out right here. Look at this. Wham. Oh my goodness. I do not know where his leg is at. I mean, his leg is underneath this guy I don't know but anyhow Donovan Smith stops and kind of turns around to I don't know see if this guy's okay or something while Ronald Jones is still running look look, look at this Ronald Jones is still running he could use a blocker out there and there's Donovan Smith turned around just nonchalantly like watching Tristan works I don't know if he's screaming or what weird Okay, here's the play in full speed. Thirteen oh four in the fourth quarter. Ninety Montrevious Adams just embarrasses Kristen Worse and uh, <clears throat> Alex Kappa. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this in slow motion so you can see it. This is a really neat. He comes through, swim moves Kappa, and then just pushes, <laughs> pushes worse down. And if he had, he falls down right here. I don't know what happens. He ends up taking 44 with him. But if he hadn't have fallen down, he probably would have killed 30, the running back Vaughn. Let's watch this in regular speed. Ooh, look at that. It's getting rid of my Vaughn. He got all those yards by himself. 
7-19 in the fourth quarter. This is third and two. Tampa Bay is up 38-10. It's basically garbage time, but we're trying to get a first down. I've talked a lot about how the running backs have not needed to block that much this year. This time, 25, Shady McCoy misses seeing 25 come in. He shoots the gap and clobbers Tom Brady. Bam. Five fifty one in the fourth quarter. JPP just whoops seventy seven. Even though seventy seven gets hands to the face on JPP, which is not called, he still gets the uh, strip sack. This is just a whooping. Two minutes in the fourth quarter left. This is a third and seven. It's a great pull by Ali Marpet. He comes around, comes up through this hole as a lead blocker. 44 comes over, tries to stop the run. Keyshawn Vaughn goes behind Ali Marpet, and Ali Marpet just clears the way for this. This uh, this seals the game. See, here's here's Marpet, here's 44, here's Keyshawn Vaughn. Good stuff, good stuff. And here we have it, my favorite Buccaneer play of all the time, Victory Formation. Get it, boys. Well, well done. <laughs>